One of the Nassau County jurors who convicted Kimberly Kessler of murder is now speaking out, saying there was one particular piece of evidence that convinced her that Kessler killed her co-worker, Jolene Cummings. The jury returned the guilty verdict December 9th. Kessler's attorneys have since filed a motion for a new trial as their client is facing a sentence of life in prison. Cummings disappeared in 2018. Her body has never been found. The juror who asked not to be publicly identified spoke with News for Jacks reporter Scott Johnson, who joins us live from the Nassau County Courthouse. Scott. Mary, this juror says despite attempts by Kimberly Kessler to appear not competent to stand trial, she believes Kessler was very competent, knew what she was doing, and believes she killed her. Jurors have been released to speak publicly since the verdict in the trial of Kimberly Kessler. And now we're hearing from one who asked to not be identified about why she believes Kessler was guilty of killing Jolene Cummings in 2018. My thing was she was very clever to set out. She knew what she was doing. But it's like now she wants to say that she's crazy she's not competent this juror pointed to numerous things that led her to that decision but a primary one dna evidence found at the scene what was the big thing that you really go yeah i, I believe this is a guilty verdict when the dna um lady came up from duval county and the blood samples that they took and when it said that the it was jolene cummins blood that was on her boots the scissors it was five different spots on them Jolene Cummins' blood was on there, her clothes, and on when you first come into the salon where the big receptionist desk was, her blood was on there. For me, as a juror, that, that sealed the deal for me. I already knew that she was guilty. Another thing she says swayed the jury, Kessler's Google searches. All the things like the searches, the Google searches that she went, that she looked up on how to dismember her body. She set the lady out, you know, who she was, the salon, and... All of that. There was an interesting dynamic to this case. The fact that Kessler was not present in the courtroom following numerous outbursts. The judge had her sequestered in a different room for the trial, and this juror says that did make it difficult for some members of the jury. It was very intense, and some of the jurors asked for her to be in there because they wanted to see what her response was, you know, when the, uh, the offense, the state people got up and everything. But, I mean, I guess it was very difficult because we didn't know what her emotions was at the time. And Kessler's attorneys have filed a motion for a new trial, filing an appeal saying they believe the judge made a lot of mistakes in the initial trial. We're live in Nassau County. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.